Greetings from the Tour de France. This is James Start with Frankie Andreo on the second rest day in this year's tour, 2014. And we're standing inside the fortified, uh, medieval fortified city of Carcassonne, an amazing, immense uh, city, even in the rain. Lots of stone walls to fort. Like a mountain of stone <laughs> walls. And yeah, where are we going exactly. tomorrow? Uh, the mountains. Banyard de Luchon, and we're going over the final climb is uh, where Chain Gate took place, uh, Ballet. Ballas? Ballas. Yes. 237 kilometers from Carcassonne to Bagnères de Luchon, the longest stage and one of the hardest in terms of mountains. Uh, that's a wicked climb. We rarely go over it in the tour as the final climb. And uh, a and lot of drama came the last time we did it between to Andy Schleck and, and Alberto Contador. Uh, and can we expect some drama here this time? Yeah, we always expect drama on a 237 kilometer stage. I mean, we saw Valverde kind of crack a little bit. We're so gonna... on a, 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 coming off a of rest day, it's going to be a little bit harder for Valverde to figure out how he's feeling. So you have to test him again. And then on a super long day, Valverde doesn't really like the super long stages. So that's going to be a test for him. And you have a descent down to the finish, which is going to be a test for Thibaut Pinot. 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 And so that should be interesting. You know, it's going to be see how it is in the fort. That's a car in the fortified yeah, city. Yeah. That's allowed. Yeah. Can you believe that? But three big mountain days. But tomorrow will be the first test. And guys, you know, obviously, you know, just, I think, don't want to lose time. That's what they're going to do. You know? The other thing, we're in the third week. The Pyrenees are very different than the Alps. Steeper, more nervous. The descents are more technical. And I have never seen so many guys just so frazzled because I mean we have had every day day in day out some intense it's just it's the, the more, sort of the most nerve-wracking racing I've ever seen well, in the tour the weather doesn't help the weather doesn't help uh, the, the setup you know these 150 kilometer stages that we've had are very nervous uh, it makes great racing but it really grinds away at them mentally and yeah. I think some people are really coming to the Pyrenees very tired and I think we'll see more surprises um, and it's going to be really interesting to see what some of these young, younger guys can these do. Young guns can do. Speaking of surprises, uh, highlight and disappointment for their second week? Well, my highlight would be these young guns and what they've been doing. I think it's been great. It's a, a whole new generation of riders, new faces, uh, really showing uh, what, they, what they've got yeah. and a lot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Barde, a huge talent for the future. Uh, Pino also. Yep. Uh, Perot is finally, you know, at 37 or 38, he's. You know, I mean, he started cycling very late, but he's really in his own now, riding very well. Uh, and then obviously nibbly on top of his game. So I, I just say the whole, this whole new young generation of riders has been a I like highlight. The, I like the new French generation. I think uh, disappointment, Richie Port kind of blowing up. I'd like to have him, seen him challenge for second. Highlight, which it depends on how, where you look at it. The most exciting stage for me was Jack Bauer getting nipped at the line by uh, Christoph. I mean, that um, was just, that was unbelievable and uh, amazing. So that was good. But Nibali seems very confident, very comfortable in yellow, and for good reasons when you have like, what, a four minute lead? I was at his press conference today at the Astana press conference, and somebody finally asked him a question. Have you, um, Vincenzo, ever, have you been in difficulty once yet in the race? He just sort of flatly said, no. That, 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 that's that's going to be a tough one he for the other guys. Very, just, he's calm, cool. He's got this sort of, just sort of zen. Uh, manner about him right now. Well, he's, he's just totally on top of his game. Racing for the podium, and that's what the other guys are going to have to do. And so it's going to be a big battle between TJ and the French riders. And they have to be careful because you don't obviously don't you don't want to let Bach Molima get back up in there. You don't want to let uh, Richie Port. You know, you know these good guys who are good time trialists or climbers who have lost a lot of time. Don't let them in the break. And what's going to be interesting is seeing can the big climbers like Barde and Pino take more time out of the guys who are better than the time They're trial like TJ and and uh, and uh, Peru, yeah. so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, but it'll be very interesting. Uh, anyway, from the tour, this is James. Start with Frankie Andreo, rest day number two, tour talk.